Hello everyone, I'm Ryan. Welcome back to my channel. Freehold or leasehold, this is one of the common topics that many buyers will think about when it comes to a property purchase. So today, I will be touching on, on this topic to compare resale example for a freehold and leasehold development. I'll be analyzing two condos, which is the Minton and Urban Residences, as they are right next to each other with their TOP just one year apart. The Minton is a 99 years leasehold condo located in Haogang. It has gotten its TOP in 2013 and has 1,145 units. Urban Residence is a freehold condo which has gotten their TOP in 2014, which is one year apart from Minton and it has a total of 47 units. In general, freehold property will fetch a 20 to 30% premium higher compared to the leasehold property. We see no exception for the condos that we are going to discuss today. Urban Residences, the freehold condo was launched around $1,200 per square foot compared to the 99 years leasehold Minton, which was transacted at around $900 per square foot during the first phase of launch. Now, let's see how these two condos perform over the years using the analysis chart. We will split them into two segments, one is before TOP and one is after TOP. The Minton have significant price surge during TOP from $900 per square foot to around $1,300 per square foot. Whereas for urban residences, it didn't really perform well from the launch to TOP. One of the key factors is, being a small development of 47 units, there are not enough transactions to support the price and the developer's sales runway is shorter for price staging. Let's look at the profit column. Both buyers enter during the developer sales period with the same size of 1,324 square feet. For Minton, the buyer made 587,000 profits. Whereas urban residences, buyer exited with only 197,000 profits. Why is this so? The key factor is because of the entry price. The urban residences unit enter at a premium of 1033 per square foot, where the Minton unit was bought at 765 per square foot during launch, which we see a good 35% premium gap between the freehold and leasehold property. Now, let's look at the second segment, which is the price trend after TOP and beyond. Again, both projects behave differently. Urban residences' prices hold better compared to the Minton. While Minton is starting to decline in prices, this can happen because the 99 years leasehold property lease is depleting or the condo is deteriorating due to age and major wear and tear. Now, if we look at the latest transactions, we can see that the prices between these two condos are very close. So for potential buyers who are comparing between these two projects, you may want to look at urban residences and spot for good buys since there's no more premium between the 99 years and freehold tenure property anymore. Based on the analysis above, what we believe in is being a freehold or leasehold development is secondary. The most important factor for a good profit margin is the entry price. And also, to buy into freehold or leasehold depends on individual situation. If you are looking for a property which have long-term growth and don't mind slower growth in terms of profit, go for freehold. But if you are planning to cash out the property in 3 to 5 years time, leasehold may be a better choice. This is just one of our many case studies we have between a leasehold and freehold property. If you are keen to know more and understand more examples on how it can impact your decision in buying a property, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will see you soon.